Now to the impeachment inquiry, and the House kicks off its second week of public hearings tomorrow. But it's President Trump's response to calls from House Democrats for his testimony that's getting quite a bit of attention tonight. CBS 4's Nicole Killian has developments from Capitol Hill. I always defend state more employees. It's the greatest diplomatic corps in the history of the world. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo gave a blanket defense of officials who've testified in the House impeachment proceedings and of the president. I'm proud of what this administration has done with respect to you. CBS News confirms reports that Ambassador to the EU Gordon Sondland sent emails to several administration officials to keep them posted on his efforts to get Ukraine to agree to President Trump's demands for investigations into the Bidens and Democrats. Democrats. Last week, State Department official David Holmes told House committees he overheard the president ask Sondland about the investigations during a phone call. Several witnesses have contradicted Sondland's earlier closed door deposition, and Sondland amended his testimony to say there was quid pro quo. He is one of several officials scheduled to publicly testify this week. We're going to have a host of witnesses. We'll see how his testimony plays out. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said President Trump is also welcome to testify. The president could come right before the committee and talk, speak all the truth that he wants if he you wants, don't to, expect him if to, he wants to take the oath of office or he could do it in writing. President Trump tweeted in response, even though I did nothing wrong and don't like giving credibility to this no due process hoax, I like the idea and will, in order to get Congress focused again, strongly consider it. CBS News has learned House investigators are looking into whether President Trump lied when he answered questions in writing for special counsel Robert Mueller's probe into Russian interference in the 2016 election. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Well, House Republicans have also called on Republican Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson to give information he may have about President Trump's actions towards Ukraine. Johnson was part of the delegation that attended the president, the Ukrainian president's inauguration in Kiev earlier this year. And CBS News will bring you complete coverage of this week's public testimony in the impeachment inquiry. Nora O'Donnell will anchor our special reports from Washington tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. And look for much more on the inquiry tonight on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. That's at 6.30 after CBS 4 News at 6.